Welcome to PEBA's Get Set for Retirement Retirement Presentation for Members Approaching Retirement. In this section, we will focus on post-retirement information. Current law provides for a 1% benefit payment adjustment every July 1. The annual adjustment may not, however, exceed $500. You will be eligible to receive an adjustment on the 2nd July 1 of your retirement. In other words, you must be retired for one full fiscal year, which is July 1 to June 30th, before you are eligible to receive the adjustment. The incidental death benefit in retirement is no longer based on salary, but on years of service. Your last employer prior to retirement must have had this coverage for it to be payable to your beneficiary upon your death. If you decide to return to covered employment after retirement for an agency or entity that participates in SCRS or PORS, there are several important items to be aware of before you return to work. First, you must have a bona fide termination of employment. You must remain separated from covered employment for no less than 30 calendar days. Next, as a working retiree, you must pay contributions the same as an active member, although this will not affect your retirement benefit in any way. Finally, should you return to covered employment with an agency that adheres to state personnel policies, you will be exempt from the state employee grievance procedures and will be an at-will employee. Another thing you will want to consider if you decide to return to covered employment is the $10,000 earning limitation for working retirees. This does not mean that you cannot earn more than this amount, only that when you earn this amount, your retirement benefit will be suspended for the remainder of the calendar year. The annual earnings limitation is increased to $50,000 for some retired SCRS members who retired on or before April 1, 2019 and returned to cover employment in the K-12 public education system. If a retired member is otherwise subject to the earnings limitation, all other employment remains subject to the regular $10,000 earning limitation. A retiree may not qualify for this increased earnings limitation for a maximum period of 36 months of employment. Your retirement benefit will be reinstated next January. There are a few exceptions to the earnings limitation. SCRS members who retire on or after the age of 62 are exempt from the earnings limitation, as are PORS members who retire on or after age 57. Members who retired prior to January 2, 2013 are also exempt. Certain teachers who meet the critical needs exemption as determined by the South Carolina Department of Education may be exempt as well as certain appointed or elected officials. PORS retirees who return to work as a critical needs school resource officer may also be exempt.